These days, the sources for Doom's graphics are, for the most part, well known. It did take about a quarter century, but finally we're at a point where the vast majority of questions one might have about Doom sprites are answered. For example, back in early 2016, Black Mantis discovered the sources for most of the Doom skies. They come from the Media Clips CDs by RS Entertainment. There's also other interesting sources that prove just how creative and resourceful the id guys were. The Tootsie Toy Old Painless Gatling Gun was used to make things like columns and lamp posts. However, there's a select batch of sprites that are rumored to have a much darker source, something that, when compared to ripping skies from media CDs and sculpting models, seems downright creepy and almost sinister in nature. The theory is that these sprites in particular are based on photos of Mussolini's execution. Here's an example of a blog post that talks about this theory. You see that one dude hanged up in the far left? Okay, many people around the community have attributed the origin of that singular sprite slash wall texture to none other than Benito Mussolini's body that was shown during his public hanging in Milan back in 1945. Well, this is literally half true. When you look up images of Mussolini's body in Google, aside from the most explicit ones, you end up finding this one. You think Mussolini is the one in the right? Well, you're wrong, because that's Clara Patacci, Mussolini's mistress that was executed alongside him two days before. Mussolini is the one in the middle. Now take a closer look at the in-game sprite. In case you haven't noticed yet, they mixed Mussolini's legs with Clara's upper body and then retouched the black and white picture to match Doom's palette perfectly. So yeah, there you go. You don't know when you'll stop discovering new things about Doom. And here's a Reddit thread on the subject. These two sprites from Doom are used frequently through the game, but not many people know about their theorized dark past. Some claim that these sprites are based on the pictures of the executed, hanged corpses of Benito Mussolini and some of his followers. Hell, even Decino himself, who I consider to be a veritable fountain of Doom trivia, has entertained this theory. And then there's these guys. I've always found these graphics to be very out of place. In the Jaguar version, they were redrawn, as if they knew they didn't fit Doom's art style. Or maybe, because the source material for these graphics is quite sinister. Nothing is confirmed, this is just a rumor. But it's speculated that these hanged corpses are based on the photographed corpses of Mussolini and his followers. So, as you can see, this theory is very widespread. Most people seem to be in agreement that, even if the sprites were redrawn by hand, they were definitely based on Mussolini. So, is it actually true? Were the classic id boys even more sick in the head than we already thought, going around putting real gore in their game, Hong Kong 97 style? Well, no. Actually, the explanation is a lot more harmless and falls right in line with id's known history of using toys and other random objects as a basis for the sprites and other graphics in Doom. These oh-so-sinister sprites are really just old G.I. Joe figurines laid out in different poses. The oddly grainy texture we see on their pants is really just camouflaged G.I. Joe pants, resized down to the point where it looks like a mash of pixels. While there unfortunately doesn't seem to be any high-res versions of the original photos anywhere, there's other bits of strong evidence suggesting these are just pictures of G.I. Joes. In this classic interview with Jay Wilbur, he specifically refers to the twitching hanging corpses as hanging GIs. Additionally, multigen.txt, which was included in the Doom Utilities released by id Software, specifically refers to the twitching hanging sprite as a GI Joe. To me, this is all the evidence needed to safely conclude these sprites are just digitized photos of GI Joe figurines. Heck, we even have a not quite finished attempt that was made to clean the GI Joe sprites up and bring them closer to what all the other gore sprites in Doom look like. This graphic is found in Jaguar Doom, and you can tell that a lot of the grainy artifacts and such from the photo were removed. It's worth noting that Marfi Black, another person who I consider a veritable fountain of Doom knowledge, actually disagrees with my claim here. Marfi thinks the grainier, dirtier sprites came later, as Jag Doom also contains other earlier graphics that went unused in the PC version. While that is an interesting theory, I think it's plainly obvious that one of these sprites is an original photo that's been shrunk down, and the other is an attempt to clean it up and get it looking like the other Doomgore sprites. 
It's weird to think what these sprites would have ended up looking like if they'd gone through and converted them all to the style like Doom's other sprites. Honestly though, I'm glad they were left as is. The grainy, photo-like quality adds to their realism, and Mussolini or not, they do give off a very creepy vibe. If the sprites had been cleaned up, we'd never have been left with yet another interesting Doom mystery. The last point I want to address before wrapping this video up is the poses. Okay, so maybe the sprites are just G.I. Joe's, but surely the poses are based on the Mussolini execution. I mean, look at those pants, they're wide around the thighs and then thin at the ankles. But uh, to me, this proves nothing. Anyone wearing loose-fitting pants who then has their ankles tied up is going to end up with the pants appearing wide at the thighs and thin at the ankles. I don't exactly feel like looking through any more photos of actual hanging corpses, but I'd wager they all look at least a little similar, simply due to physics. And that's about all I have to say on this one. I know we're still going to see people going around spreading the Mussolini myth, the same way people still spread the Doom is 2D myth, or the Doom wasn't meant to be played with a mouse myth. But at least those of you who are really into your Doom history will be able to correct them with the good old er actually about how they're just photos of G.I. Joe action figures. Before I go, I'd like to give a thank you to my patrons who are listed on screen. You guys really are helpful, thanks for sticking with me through a bit of a content drought, and I'll have more on the way soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully we'll see you around here again soon.